This video will show you how to make a simple request to the Ad Manager API using Google's .NET client library. This video assumes you already set up a service account on your Ad Manager network and that you have a basic familiarity with C Sharp and .NET Core. Even though this video will be using .NET Core, it should be noted that you can use this client library with the .NET framework as well. Navigate your browser to the Google Ads .NET lib repository. Under Source, Ad Manager, you will find a file named app.config. The .NET client library expects to find this configuration file in your project directory. Click the raw button in GitHub and save this file as a template. For now, we'll put it in the home directory. Be sure that the file has the correct extension, .config. Next, open a terminal to set up a .NET project. Start by making a project directory and moving the app.config file there and then move into that directory. Let's create a new console app with the .NET new console command. Then let's add the ad manager package. For historical reasons, it's called google.dfp. Now open your development environment. I'm using Visual Studio Code, an open source IDE. Then open your project directory and select the app.config file for editing. First, enter an application name. This string will be sent to Google with every request and should identify your application. It's important that your application name be unique and descriptive since it can help Google identify requests coming from your application. This can make it easier for us to provide you with support later on. Next, you need to enter your network code. And finally, you must add your authentication method. In this example, let's uncomment the service account section and then enter the path to the JSON key file you downloaded in the OAuth video. Be sure to save your changes to this configuration file. Next, open the program.cs file to start writing c -sharp code. First, add a using statement for the version independent resources at google.api.ads.admanager.lib. Then, add a using statement for the latest version of the API. Then, in the main method, create an add manager user instance like so. Next, create a using block to encapsulate the code that will need to access an add manager service. In this case, we're using the network service. Then, create a network instance by calling get current network on the network service. It's important to point out that this method is what's actually making a request to the Ad Manager API, and it returns an object representing the API response. All that's left to do now is to print out some information from the response. Let's show the network code and the display name for the current network. Save this c -sharp file and open a terminal to run this example. As you can see, it has printed out the data it retrieved from the Ad Manager network. And that's it. You are now up and running with the Ad Manager API using Google's .NET client library.